Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, February 11th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see, we did rally in the beginning of the trading session, and then we broke down quite aggressively. Um, but at the end of the session, of the US session, we rally yet again. And now we're basically down 0.03%. Um, so basically, we are nearly the same place as we closed yesterday. But this is a sign that we most likely will go towards the 20 exponential moving average here down at roughly uh, 3,837. So give or take 3,800 or 3,850. That is most likely where we're heading to. And then we'll see if I come back in and push this to 4,000. We can see that we are getting, well, very close to the top of the bullish band here. And usually when that happens, we either have a gradual grind towards the downside or we have a basically a collapse towards the downside. I would think that we at this point will have a more gradual grind to the downside, something similar to this. It may take several days where we go back and forward, but we will go slowly, most likely, towards the 20 exponential moving average and then bounce. And our target here is 4,000. Technical indicators, they are showing signs of this slowing down and then this becoming more bearish than bullish. You can see them as stochastic here. It's almost crossing the signal line. We have the RSI that is becoming more basically flat. The CCI is turning around and the MACD is still bullish, but it is becoming more flat. And we are basically at top here of the bullish band. So I never short indices. I always wait until we reach towards support in order to buy them so 3800 3850 and the target will be roughly 4000 so let's look at the dow jones so we did fall all the way down to 31252 and then we rallied so also here we may see another rally from the Dow Jones uh, tomorrow, as we are not that overstretched here in the Dow Jones compared to uh, the S&P 500. We also in the RSI, RSI is only at 54, so there's a lot of room to the upside. But it would make a whole lot of sense if this fell towards a 20 exponential, which would be roughly here. So 31,000, um, give or take, that is most likely where people will come back in and uh, buy this towards 31,500 and 32,000. So pull back towards roughly the middle of the Bollinger Band, give or take. That is where this most likely will go, and then it will go higher from here. So we are in uptrend, but occasional pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that will always happen even in those in these uptrends. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ did fall all the way down to uh, 13,527 and then rallied a little bit. We're still down roughly 0.23%, but we are expecting the, the NASDAQ to fall to roughly 14,400. That is most that's probably as far as it will go at this point. So we'll have most likely have a gradual grind or have a very uh, aggressive drop to the downside, and then it will bounce. So target here is 14,000 and 15,000. Um, and that it will most likely happen at 15,000, probably the end of, of March, give or take. So technical indicators for the NASDAQ are slowly turning around. The RSI is turning around. CCI is turning around. Stochastic is turning around. And the MACD is also becoming flat. And we're getting quite close to the top of the Bollinger Band here. So this was basically a warning that we have been rallying for the last few trading days, and we will most likely see a pullback towards the 20 
before we go higher. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below, and good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you.